The monthly jobs report from the Labor Department is arguably the best and clearest indicator of the economic state of the union. And today's numbers suggest the union is reasonably strong and possibly getting stronger. Employers added 195,000 new jobs in June, far more than forecast, and the numbers for April and May were revised sharply higher. But because so many more Americans jumped back into the market to look for a job, the nation's unemployment rate held steady at 7.6 percent. Eamon Javers now with more on the good news about jobs in June and what it might mean for the economy. Seth Shapiro, the owner of Silver Spork in Washington, D.C., is doing something this month that thousands of business owners across the country are also doing, hiring new workers. A qualified person for me is someone who's happy, naturally, um, someone who's active, uh, someone who's reliable and trustworthy, uh, and customer focus, understands what the customer's looking for. Signs of the hiring surge in storefronts and shopping malls provide testament to the government numbers. A lot of those new jobs came in traditional summertime industries. 52,000 hired in food services and drinking places and 19,000 in amusements, gambling and recreation, according to the Department of Labor. But private sector employment surged by more than 202,000, even as government employment declined. And that means more people like Kevin Carter, who are facing unemployment, have reason to be optimistic. I feel pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty confident that I will be employed again, so um, I don't have a, a dire outlook on, on my future. To the experts, the new data gives similar hope. Now, the unemployment rate is still high. There's a lot of room to, to improve, but it's really heading in the right direction now in, in a sustainable and convincing way, uh, much more so than it has since President Obama was elected. But some think there could still be threats to the U.S. economy looming. I mean, we're doing really much better here in the United States, but in Europe, they're still in recession, and the emerging world has been very disappointing. Growth has uh, slowed quite a bit in places like China and India, uh, uh, Russia, Brazil. So uh, that's doing some damage to our export growth with church manufacturers. For Wall Street, the news presents a conundrum. Does all the new hiring mean the Fed is more likely to ease off of its liquidity injections? For now, anyway, the market seems ready to celebrate the good news. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in Washington.